Scrolling text is nothing new. It's at the end of almost every Hollywood movie, giving credits to the producer and director, all the way down to the grip, caterers, and the assistant to the assistant to the assistant. Then there's crawling text. Ever since Star Wars made its debut, crawling text has been all the rage. There are also those horizontal running ticker bites that ruin your view of the scores on sports previews at the bottom of every major TV news network station, but I'm not bitter. I won't cover that type in this tutorial, but hopefully in a future one. But you will be happy to know that all these types of animated text and more can be created right inside Video Studio Pro. Let me show you how. First, of course, open up Video Studio Pro. First, go to the color library from the drop down up here at the top so we can create a background for our text. I need to do this especially if I add other video after this since Video Studio will not allow me to leave any blank areas here. You can certainly use a video clip or an image as a background, just be careful about it interfering with the actual text. Now, go to the title library. You will notice the very first choice in the library is a scrolling text preset. Drag it and drop it into your title channel in the timeline. Extend the background out to the length of the text by selecting it and grabbing the right side like so. It should snap to the end of your other clip automatically. Now, since the length will designate the speed of the scrolling text, we may adjust the length again later. Now, double click the title clip in the timeline to see it in the preview window, then double click it in the preview window to enter the edit mode for the text. Now we can click and drag to highlight the text and replace it with our own, which is what I'll do now. You will need to add your own carriage returns at desired intervals and don't try to just copy and paste text from somewhere else as Video Studio will not recognize carriage returns. We will need to do this part manually. If you get to the bottom of a window, you may need to click outside the text box, move the box back up, and then double click inside again to add further text. When you finish entering your text, click outside the box again and reposition the top, like so, and then hit play to preview. Your scrolling text will begin off the screen at the bottom and end off the screen at the top. Now, as I mentioned, playback speed will depend on the length. Drag out the clip on the timeline to slow it down and do the opposite to speed it up. Easy so far, huh? But let's put the length back where it was. Now, if you want to make it look like the Star Wars crawling text, do the following. Since there is no preset or tools to skew the text the way we want it, go to File, Project Properties, and under Edit File Format, choose Microsoft AVI Files. This will produce the highest quality non-drop frame format. And click OK, click OK again, and then under the Share tab, go to Create Video File, Custom, and name your file. All right, now delete what you already have in the title track and import the clip you just saved. Make sure you go to Video, click the Manila folder, find the file you have, open, and now drag this movie clip down to an overlay track. If you want to, you can preview it by hitting play, but notice it's a little small. That's because it's not full screen. Right click on the preview of the video clip and choose Fit to Screen. Now play it and it should play full screen. All right. In the edit panel that shows up automatically, choose Show Grid Lines. Now grab the middle handle at the top here and drag it straight down. And then you're going to see two small green squares on each corner. Pull those in towards the center. Don't go too far or it'll make it look unnatural. And then rewind and play it back. So are we having some fun yet? Thanks again, and I'll see you in another Corel video tutorial.